Sake Temple area today remains the most sought after and striking archaeological site for both researchers and visitors in Previa province, which is about 350 kilometers from Phnom Penh. Among the group of temples in Kake area, the Prasad Prem Temple has never failed to be spotted for it is the first one standing. First of all, there are several options leading to the Kake site. For tourists who are coming from Simriap, they can travel via National Road 6 to reach the South Nikom district, which is located east of Dam Naik Market. Then continue traveling on road number 64 to get to Swai Le district before arriving at the actual site. Specifically, Kake temples are located at Sarayong Kamnyu of Gulen district. What is more surprising is that about 125 kilometers before entering the Previhir province, tourists can enjoy natural sceneries along the road. They are filled with immense rice fields, potatoes farms, bananas, peppers, durians, and rubber farms. All seems to be forever green throughout the seasons. Could these greeneries and fruitful produce be the reasons why His Majesty made this city a new capital in the 10th century? According to historians, seemingly it was true. From 921 until 944 AD, King Jayavarman IV migrated from Angkor City to a new capital called Chokoki or present-day Kake. However, the Kake civilization did not remain for long until the new king, Rajendra Varman, decided to return to the former capital. In spite of a long history and over a century's worth of time had passed, this legacy lives on. Kake has invited the interest of researchers, historians, archaeologists, architects, and linguists. Moreover, the same could be said for tourism sector. Both national and international tourists keep on visiting this historical site multiples of times. Furthermore, the majority of temples in the area of Kake, such as Thom Temple, Prang Temple, Krochap Temple, Dom Rai Temple, Lung Temple, and especially the Prem Temple, are dedicated to Hinduism. The Pram Temple is particularly attractive, with its remarkable features like the mighty fortress surrounding the angelic building, beautiful coloring, and the green and fresh environment, the beauty of this temple outshines significantly. On the other hand, the name of the Pram Temple could be influenced by the fact that this temple itself consists of five towers since the word Prem means five in English. Among the five towers, three of the towers are constructed on the same tier. The tower in the eastern direction was made of brick, whereas the northeastern one was made of laterite materials. Other additional accessories such as door frame, lintels, pillars and everything else are made from sandstone. Unfortunately, the temple seems to be incomplete if we take a look at the brick tower, we can see some incomplete carvings on the pillars, while unfinished drafts are also presented here and there along the lintel. In the northeast tower, also known as the North Library, it is evident that the images on its wall are left undone, without cleaning or any further continuation. Thereby, we can conclude that this temple is not fully finalized, on the other hand, what seems to be a compromising aspect with the previous architect of the Angkor period is the installment of air vents. But the Gokke air vents are slightly tilted in rhombus shape. Despite having seen pieces of stones falling onto the temple ground, the Gokke temple structure remains indestructible and everlasting. When journeying to the northeast corner of this temple, one will discover a surprise. A pond, 
by the name t r o p e n g Yung Khmang, or translated to be the Dark Skin Lady. Within its tourism circuit, starting from the ticket selling station, the Pram Temple is the first group of temples to be visible, and for that reason, tourists who make their way to visit the Kake Temple area rarely missed out on the Pram Temple during their tour. <laughs> 